you know the rules. You can't take that in there. Or that one. Let's get this over with. Ah, here he is. Take a seat. I'm guessing you're not here to pay back the 12 grand. 12 is 10 million. Listen, quit the bullshit. We both know you're not a complete moron. It was 10, but you failed to meet the quota. And now it's 12. Yeah, and what was I supposed to do about Matt legging it off with the last quarter? It's not like I could pay that and all. Don't worry about Matt. He won't be legging it off anytime soon. But the interest still stands. So what's the point in doing this shit anymore? If it's not going to get me anywhere. Might as well just not do it anymore. The point is, you do what I say, so that Jules' boys don't send you back to your missus in pieces. You're on thin fucking ice. Me? What for? Don't play dumb. We know you're the one who squealed. They don't just break into a place like that for no good reason. You're the drunk with the big mouth. And Jules is very unhappy. Fuck off, I didn't do out, and you know that. Didn't even know you was it last night. Say what you want, but I'm the one stopping Jules' boys putting the hit on. Smackheads will do out for a hundred quid. I ain't done fuck all and you know that. I'll get your money, but that's it. I'm not doing any more of your dodgy shit. See, this is where we have a few problems. The old fucker just won't give up. And I have big plans for the business. All I know is that this shit you've got us peddling, it's dodgy and it's killing it. And I won't do it anymore. I'm not having it on my conscience. You will do what I tell you till I say you can. I own you. Since we used to be friends, how about one more job? It's a simple one, not too hard. I'm sure someone like you could manage it. And maybe after, we can take a look at that debt. If we can go our separate ways. Sound good? Sure, but there's no way I'm trusting you. And I wouldn't expect you to. But like I said, you're not a complete moron. Surely you can figure it out. Jules is the one putting the price on your head. And I want her gone. It's win-win. You want Jules gone? She's a fucking dinosaur, mate. She thinks she's, what, Mrs. Cray or something. And people, they just don't do it like that anymore. Hitmen and goons. Today's money is in drugs and fucks. She had her chance. Now she's to fuck off and get gone. I could run this shit show better with my eyes closed. So why'd you set me up? Collateral damage, mate. You're a filthy lowlife I can put the blame on. I can hardly go up to her and say, Sorry, boss, I set you up, can I? So they didn't nick her then? Nah. Oh, Bat got away. It's probably had some bent copper on the books. But I saw it coming. That's why I gave him your name. You fucking snake. And that's why you're gonna bump her off for me. And then maybe I'll have a look at that 12 grand for you. I'm not a murderer, Mickey. I've done some shit, but I've got some sort of moral compass. <laughs> moral compass? Fuck off. You're a delinquent with a problem for the source. And you owe some very bad men some very big money. We say we add petty crime and drug dealing to the mix. You're not setting a very good example for your little girl now, are you? Don't fucking bring my family into this, Mickey. It's my mess, not theirs, and I'm going to get out of it. As for you, you jumped up piece of shit, you're going to get what's coming for you. Coming for me? The day pigs fly. <laughs> Come on, boss. Don't you boss me, you slimy little bastard. I heard the lot. Just who the fuck do you think you are? Of course, I, 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 I can explain. I'm just trying to show this fucker who's boss. I know exactly what you were trying to do. Giving it the big un. You're not the first to try and take me on, Mickey lad. And trolleys aren't the only thing at the bottom of the fresh knee. I'm old school. I have honour and pride. And I won't see my enemies stabbed in the back. That's just not my way. Deal's a deal. If you're quick enough, you'll catch the school one. <laughs>